Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial covering the quadratic formula, rational solutions. Here it asks us to solve the equation for all real solutions for this polynomial. I'm going to start by writing down this polynomial, which is going to be 3t squared plus 4t plus 8 is equal to 6t. All right, so to put this in standard form, I'm going to first now add 6t to both sides, giving me 3t squared plus the 4t plus 6t here becomes 10t plus 8. My a here is going to be the 3. My b here is going to be the 10. And my c here is going to be the 8. I'm now going to put this into the quadratic formula. It's going to be negative 10 plus and minus radical 10 squared minus 4 times 3 times 8 all over 2 times 3. Now, to simplify it, I know that in front, please understand I use x here, but for this problem, it's t. Okay, It's going to be negative 10 plus and minus a radical something. Let's figure out what that radical is. I'm going to plug that in into Desmos here. So I have 10 squared minus 4 times 3 times 8. And I saw that is 4. So it's going to be radical 4 divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. Notice, now I can simplify the radical 4, though. The radical 4 can be simplified into 2. So this can be negative 10 plus and minus 2 divided by 6. So my two solutions here will be as follows. I have first, my first one is going to be, um, x is going to be equal to negative 10 plus 2 divided by 6. And my second one would be x is equal to negative 10 minus 2 divided by 6. And again, I'm going to use Desmos. So the first one, it's negative 10, negative 10 plus 2, and this is going to be divided by 6, and I saw that in fraction form. Hit this to convert it into fraction form. It's going to be equal to negative 4 over 3, and then this side, I'm just going to change this in decimals to just become a negative, and I saw that this becomes negative 2. So these were my two solutions. Okay, the first one was negative 4 over 3. My second solution is negative 2. I use decimals each time I need to calculate. Right? So here, the answer, there's two of them. Right? So I, I press that comma. Right? I press a comma on my keyboard to show that there are two solutions. My first one is going to be negative 4 divided by 3. And my second one is going to be negative 2. Okay, and I hit submit answer, right? There you go, okay? Same process as before, All right? So let's do the next problem. Now let's do, let's do something like, uh, how about we do something like this one? All right, so here we're gonna solve for all the, for this equation, for all real solutions. The equation is a squared minus 7a plus 12 equals to 0. This is a great problem because it's already in standard form. So I can now just write down my a term, which is 1. My b term is going to be negative 7. And my c term is going to be the 12. Okay. Step 2, I plug into the quadratic equation. So it's going to be negative, negative 7 
plus and minus radical negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12 divided by 2 over 1. Okay, now I'm going to use a calculator. So x is equal to negative times a negative is a positive. So there's a positive 7 in front plus and minus radical something. This can be all divided by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. I just have to figure out what's in that radical. So I'm going to use Desmos. And I saw that it was a negative 7 times my negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12. I saw that just becomes 1. Oh, that's easy. So it's just the radical 1. Okay, but we know what radical 1 is. It's just 1. So it's 7 plus and minus 1. Divide this by 2. So my two solutions, the first one would be x equals to 7 plus 1 over 2. My second solution is x is equal to 7 minus 1 over 2. So 7 plus 1 divided by 2. Again, I'm going to make my life easy by just plugging it into decimals. 7 plus 1 divided by 2. That get me that got me a four. Then the second one, I have seven minus one. So I changed this to a minus. That became three. Alright. So if you go back into delta, notice this only shows one box. So press the comma key. Okay, it's next to the letter M on your keyboard. Alright. So if you go here, if you hit the keyboard, the comma is also right here. Oh, will this give you me two answers? No, it won't give me two answers. So press the comma on your keyboard. They would tell you to, it would give you two answers. Okay. Or, let's see. We can enter four is the first one. And the second one, we can enter it, what was it? Three, yep. So the answer here would be three. Okay, hit submit your answer. And that is correct. All right, good. So there you go. And that is how you solve the quadratic formula and you have rational solutions. These are rational solutions because there are numerical values here that are rational.